And we're back to the Ender Bender. That's a Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro and soon to be Ender V2 as well. Conversion to a belt printer on a 45 degree angle for super low cost. Um, now, in this video, we're going to show you the upgrades or mods that we're doing extra to this build. I, you know, last video we did, uh, you know, a mod for the spool holder, which works for any uh, 4040 profiles, aluminum profiles that you can find. Um, that works very well. Check that video out in my channel. Um, and for this video, we're going to show you now how the scraper works the new scraper we added, and the rollers extension. So for the scrapers, let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, I added this, I call it the blade. Um, I added the brim. I left the brim on, actually. I think it was eight lines. I added the brim so it gives it extra flush towards the bed. And uh, you can adjust it on each side. They're mounted over here to the 2020 uh, vertical bars right here one and left all the aluminum extrusions they are um now with that being said i didn't want anyone to you know have to reprint these front mounting brackets and not everybody wants to have you know this mod on their printer so you know it's optional what i did here is i um you know just made it look like this you know i have one m5 bolt by eight with a t-nut attached to the rail the floor makes it you know flat and um, then you add the blade between these two so-called shelves on the right with the slots you can adjust them because there's screw and nuts there so you can adjust them based on how close or how far you want it from the bed so that's the arms now on the arms this one doesn't have it but this one does they have two um, connection points that you'll see uh, for our main event so to speak our main event here is the rollers um, obviously when you make those massive dragons or massive swords or bars that you want to make super long and show, Hey, this is what my printer can do, or you need it for some project you're working on. Um, I developed these pull down, fold away bars. I call them, these two are the bars, uh, for the rollers. And these are the two posts, which I call legs. They fit very well, as you can see. I oh, had a bed, it's perfectly leveled. Um, now for the rollers that go in the middle. Over here, as you can see, this is how it's printed in two halves to make the full roller. It's super hard to bend. Obviously you can, this is PLA, something crazy. Even done with, I think, two parameters. Um, I suggest to do it on a 0.8 nozzle, it'll print faster. It took me an hour, I think, each half uh, with 10% infill. And this is pretty strong, in my opinion, even for the, for the top part. So you take two halves, you take a 608 bearing and you slide it on and then you have this nice look on both sides and it again it's super strong. You can load them on like this, one and two, then you load on the second one, one and two, and then you have nice rolls. Um, and to show you that it's leveled as well, here we put this on the bed, put that on the scraper, put down the rollers back and forth and we're good to go obviously not everyone's printing this short of an extension but you know some people's uh setups are smaller than others uh, i didn't want it to be you know uh hurt anyone's you know room they had to add an extra table or something like that so you can extend these bars as much as you want just have to print more of these bars more of the rollers and add them on here to the next part and again it'll fold up if you need to and it'll fold up and it'll go behind the rail there so it doesn't even get in the way of anything so you could technically make this this is about a hundred millimeters width between each other so you can make it as long as possible so right now it'd be plus the bed plus this you've got over here maybe 150 millimeters of extra length or 15 centimeters and then you have each one of these which are about 20 millimeters so you, again you can continue going on and on as far as you need to and you can even print them while you're printing this to make it extra long and then you can keep on going forever. Um, make those massive dragons. All right. With that all being said, I will post all the files here onto Thingiverse, onto my uh, channel. Please subscribe. I know I don't post as often. I'm, I'm trying to get more content out. Um, it's difficult working on a zero budget, but uh, we're going to make it happen. 
just so that we can make the you know the printing 3d printing community of ours bigger and better and i'd love to see those ideas again the whole idea of making this type of printer this is you know version number two i have the 45th degree a version of this printer which is you know for s8 machines or any cr10 s style builds they're pretty much the same to put it together with the assembly guide and all as you know i did it so that you don't have to pay a thousand dollar price tag for a uh, other belt printer very popular one ends with a 30 in the name and basically you know i'm a i'm just like you guys a little guy here that wants to have great ideas and great imagination and just it just pains me to see that you know they're taking advantage and uh, giving a diy printer for a thousand dollars and that's like it destroys people's budgets um, obviously, hopefully one day everyone can get there to afford those type of printers. Um, but until then, you can build yourself an Ender Bender does pretty much the same exact quality. Uh, with This one is actually with the Power Belt from PowerPal 3D on, on it. It's a PET belt, pretty light, pretty uh, flexible. And um, yeah, I'm going to cut it short here. Uh, look in the description for all the file links and even a link to the Facebook group. And uh, enjoy, guys. Show, post those pictures. Let me know what your uh, ideas are to make this better.